We could go band for band. Fuck that. We can go M for M. What a mill for the Maybach truck. Central C. From Shepherd's Bush to global stardom. The untold story. Picture this. It's a typical day in Shepherd's Bush, London. The year is 1998, and a star is born. Little Oakley Neil H.D. Caesar Sue, better known to us as Central C, enters the world on June 4th. With an Irish mum and a Guyanese dad, this kid was destined for a colorful life from day one. All right. I know they are bad, stop acting innocent. We ain't got generational wealth, it's only a year that I've had these millions. Growing up, Young Oakley's house was like a non-stop music festival. His old man was the resident DJ, spinning everything from hip-hop to reggae and dancing. 100 eaters, they won't fit in one SUV, no. It's no wonder our boy caught the music bug early. You could say he was marinating in beats before he could even walk. Alright, how, how, how can I be homophobic? My bitch is gay. Hit my now, let's talk about school. Central C wasn't exactly gunning for valedictorian, if you catch my drift. He was more of a lone wolf, keeping to himself. But don't let that fool you, when his temper flared, it was like a fireworks show in July. Here's a fun fact that'll blow your mind. Central C shared hallways with another UK rap sensation, AJ Tracy. Talk about a star-studded alumni. I bet their school reunions are off the hook. At the tender age of 14, our boy decided to give this music thing a shot. I hope a trap boy is your type, why? Cause I don't have a 9 to 5. Alright, I get that your standards high, but I'm not a random guy, I'm different. Hold on to your hats, folks. Because success didn't come gift wrapped with a bow. For almost a decade, Central C was grinding harder than a barista during morning rush hour. When I write my rhymes, you say you don't like that. He was releasing tracks left and right, trying to find his sound. It was like he was playing musical chairs with different styles. In 2015, Central C made his first big move. He jumped on the 8 Style remix with J Huss and crew. This is where he officially became Central C. But let's be real, he was still just another face in the crowded UK rap scene. It was like being a grain of sand on Brighton Beach. Fast forward to 2019, and our boys still hustling. He's ditched the auto-tune faster than a bad Tinder date and embraced the trap sound. But little did he know, 2020 was about to change everything. Enter COVID. While the world was locked down, binge-watching Tiger King and perfecting their sourdough starters, Central C was cooking up something special in his musical kitchen. He dropped Day in the life, let's see if you really trap. Turn off the auto-tune. And boom. It was like he'd found the secret sauce in his grandma's recipe book. Suddenly. Central C was everywhere. TikTok, radio, your nan's ringtone. You couldn't escape him. Even Drake and Big Sean were tipping their hats to this London lad. It was like he'd gone from zero to hero faster than you can say, fish and chips. But here's the kicker. Central C did all this as an independent artist. That's right. No big record label pulling the strings. He even turned down six-figure deals. Talk about backing yourself. It's like he looked at those record deals and said, Nah, bruv, I'm good. Now, let's talk about his marketing genius. For his Wild West mixtape, he painted the town orange. I mean literally, everything was orange. It was like he'd bought out the entire stock of orange paint from BNQ. He even teamed up with streetwear brand Trapstar for some merch. Clever Boy bundled album downloads with every purchase. That's how you play the game, folks. The hits kept coming like a conveyor belt in a chocolate factory. Obsessed with you, Doja, each one bigger than the last. And don't even get me started on that Cole Bennett music video. It was like watching a blockbuster movie with a budget bigger than your yearly salary. Central C's rise wasn't just about the music though. It was about the hustle, the grind, the sheer determination. This guy was working harder than a one-armed wallpaper hanger. He was dropping music videos, freestyles, and singles like they were going out of style. And let's not forget his lyrical prowess. Bad one and she photogenic, All right. Instagram got a lot of impressions. Uh -huh. She think I'm a G and I don't need love but I need some fuck affection. If Central C's bars are sharper than a Seville row suit. He's got more wordplay than a Scrabble championship. From witty punchlines to clever metaphors, his lyrics are like a linguistic roller coaster that'll leave your head spinning. But it's not all bravado and bragging. Central C's music often touches on real issues. 
He talks about his struggles, his come up, the realities of life in London. It's raw, it's real, and it resonates with people from all walks of life. And then there's his style. Central C's fashion game is stronger than a double espresso. He's always dripped out in the freshest gear, setting trends faster than you can say, sold out. From his signature chains to his color-coordinated outfits, he's not just a rapper, he's a whole vibe. Now, let's talk about his international appeal. Central C isn't just big in the UK, he's making waves across the pond too. His music is crossing borders faster than a WhatsApp message. He's got fans in Europe, America, even as far as Australia. It's like he's on a world domination tour, one banger at a time. But here's what really sets Central C apart, his work ethic. This guy doesn't know the meaning of the word, break. He's always in the studio, always creating, always pushing himself to the next level. It's like he's got a secret clone army working behind the scenes. So, what's next for Central C? Well, if his track record is anything to go by, it's gonna be big, bold, and probably very blue. That's right, he's teasing his next project with splashes of blue everywhere. It's like he's painting a musical Picasso, and we're all just waiting to see the masterpiece. From Shepherd's Bush to global stardom, Central C's story is one for the books. It's a tale of perseverance, talent, and maybe a bit of that London cheek. It's proof that with enough determination, talent, and a bit of clever marketing, you can go from council estate to music royalty. So next time you're bobbing your head to Bro, all right. how, how, how can I be homophobic? My bitch is gay. Remember the journey behind those catchy bars. Remember the kid from Shepherd's Bush who dared to dream big. Remember the artist who painted the town orange, then yellow, and now blue. And who knows? Maybe one day we'll be saying, I knew about Central C before he was famous. Well, probably not, but we can dream, right? One thing's for sure, Central C's story is far from over. This is just the beginning, and if his past is anything to go by, the future's looking brighter than a London summer day. So keep your eyes peeled and your ears open, because Central C is here to stay, and he's only just getting started. From Shepherd's Bush to the world stage, this is one rapper who's proving that with enough hustle, heart, and heat, anything is possible. The Central Sea saga continues, and we're all just along for the ride. Buckle up, it's going to be one hell of a journey.